got milk. In all seriousness, um, tonight we're going to jump into Hebrews chapter 5, verses 7 through 14. In these verses, the author immediately points out some amazing and crazy truths. While Jesus was here on earth, he offered prayers and pleadings with a loud cry and tears to the one who could rescue him from death. And God heard his prayers because of his deep reverence for God. Even though Jesus was God's son, he learned obedience from the things that he suffered. In this way, God qualified him as a perfect high priest and he became the source of eternal salvation for all of those who obeyed him. The part that stands out to me in that section is that God's own son learned obedience from the things that he suffered. We often find ourselves feeling like we're suffering, but in reality, are we? I mean, things might be hard for you right now, but you don't have the country's leaders seeking to murder you. Uh, you haven't been beaten up and executed on a cross. And sometimes we as Christians make excuses and, and even act a little bit like babies. We get upset and, and lazy with God because it's just too hard. Well, Hebrews addresses this in verse 11, and it says that there's so much more we would like to say about this, but it is difficult to explain, especially since you are spiritually dull and you don't seem to be listening. You have been believers for so long now that you ought to be teaching others, but instead you need someone to teach you again about the basic things of God's word. You are like babies who still need milk and cannot eat solid food. For someone who lives on milk is still an infant and doesn't know how to do right. Solid food is for those who are mature and those who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. This is a hard, hard passage. And if you're calling yourself a Christian, you are old enough to eat solid food. Jesus' obedience was learned through persevering through hardship. We have no excuses not to be growing in this time. It's an amazing opportunity, and God desires to meet you if you're willing to surrender. Take a minute, stop, and think. What do I need to stop going back to? in order to pursue God? And what do I need to start doing today in order to obey God? Stop drinking baby milk. Let's grow together.